is up guys welcome back to overspray in today's video we're going to be taking two tools and making it into one badass tool let me show you what i'm talking about you guys are going to like this one so in this video, we're going to be combining the Milwaukee M12 Fuel 3-inch Compact Cutoff Tool and we're also going to be combining it with the Central Pneumatic 3 8 Air Belt Sander and we're going to be using a conversion kit to make these two tools become one badass cordless belt sander. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Milwaukee cutoff tool. And what we're gonna start with is just removing this plastic housing, which is going to expose a couple of Torx screws that need to be removed. And also the center uh, hex bolt that also needs to be removed. And then also removing the cutoff tool guard as well, because that's going to expose some of the area that we need to gain access to. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I have a snap-on uh, 3 8 drive 3 16 uh, socket bit. And we're going to use this to remove the hex bolt that is right here, as you guys can see right there. Now, just keep in mind that this is a reverse thread, so you need to turn it to the right in order to loosen it because of the way that the tool actually rotates when it cuts. You don't want this bolt coming loose, so that's why it is reverse thread. You also have a small black button here that actually locks the tool in order for it to not spin so you can actually remove it. Once we have removed the hex bolt, we also are going to remove these two small metal washers and that's going to expose four small T8 uh, head screws. So we're also going to remove those in order to remove the entire uh, cutoff guard as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now do keep in mind that you need to save these screws because they're going to be reused at a later time. Um, they are very easy to lose, so keep them in a very safe spot so you don't lose them. So here we have one of the adapter plates from the conversion kit, um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so we actually have two pieces to this uh, conversion kit. So you have the drive pulley and then you also have the uh, adapter plate. Now, as you guys can see, the adapter plate also has four small um, holes and those four small holes are going to align to the four small holes on the actual tool itself. So remember how I said you have to save those screws? Well, we're actually going to be using them to reinstall this uh, adapter plate here in order to snug those up. So let's go ahead and grab our screws and uh, well, let's get started. Looking at the instructions, there was no real specific torque, um, but you gotta do keep in mind that these cannot be super tight because it is being threaded into a uh, plastic housing. So I could see you stripping these bolts out fairly easily. So just keep in mind that um, it basically just states that they need to be snug and you also need to install them in kind of a crisscross pattern so that the adapter plate goes on evenly onto the tool. And once you installed your adapter plate, uh, grab your drive pulley and we're gonna use the original hardware to reinstall uh, this this drive pulley. So just keep in mind that this is reverse thread So you do have to tighten it to the left in order to tighten down that pulley Well, we start the hex bolt by hand in order to ensure that it's not being cross threaded I'm gonna grab my snap-on 3 8 drive impact and just go ahead and snug it down I don't go crazy on it, but just enough to uh, tighten it down and make sure that it's not going anywhere of course Next on the to-do list, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our Centro Pneumatic Air Belt Sander. And we just need to remove the tensioner and belt guard. 
uh, mechanism. This is actually a fairly straightforward process because all we need to do is just remove this small little hex bolt here and the whole thing basically gets removed. Now it was nice that Central Pneumatic actually supplied a hex uh, key in order to remove this. Now this hex key would also be used for adjusting for different angles. So if you need a different angle uh, with this tool, uh, all you would need to do is just loosen that hex uh, bolt and then uh, adjust it to the appropriate angle and then re-snug it. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead and remove the entire thing. So right away, I was started to have some problems. And what I noticed was that this air belt sander wasn't actually the correct one for this conversion kit. Because what would happen is when I would tighten the hex bolt, it wouldn't actually clamp down onto the adapter plate and there was still a significant amount of play. So I ended up having to come up with an idea to make this work without having to go and buy the appropriate sander, which was actually the Baxter sander from Harbor Freight. Unfortunately, when I went to Harbor Freight, the Baxter sander was, well, on back order and they basically told me, good luck finding one because we don't have any in stock anywhere. So unfortunately that was a little bit discouraging, but I thought, you know what, let's try to make this work. The second problem that I had was the pulley was actually grinding onto the tensioner uh, belt tensioner shield. And so I needed to come up with an idea of how to create a little bit more space so that it wouldn't grind. Because if you guys notice right here, you could actually see some grinding marks on the belt shield. So what I ended up doing is just grabbing a Dremel with a sanding drum and going ahead and making some clearance uh, so that it wouldn't grind on this uh, small shield. So once I sanded enough material with my Dremel, uh, we ended up having enough space to be able to clear so that that drive pulley doesn't actually grind onto the belt shield here. So now we're gonna work on our second dilemma and that is to adapt the belt tensioner onto the Milwaukee fuel cutoff tool. So as you guys may notice here, you can see that this uh, tensioner is fully collapsed, but it still has a lot of play on the Milwaukee adapter kit. So unfortunately, there is a huge clearance there that we need to make up for. So basically what I ended up coming up with was a small piece of cardboard in order to make up for the difference between the tensioner and also the adapter kit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just shove the uh, cardboard in between to kind of make up for the space, basically almost like a shim, and then go ahead and uh, tighten down that hex bolt in order to tighten it down. And this actually worked very, very well. And you can see how snug it actually is. So I just give it a quick little test. You can see that the pulley is no longer grinding on that belt shield. And you could also spot a little bit of the cardboard kind of sticking out there, but there's not a problem. It's going to work just fine. I'm also going to reinstall the small belt that is uh, provided with the tool and going to go ahead and do a little uh, quick run right here and make sure we have no more issues. So now what we're left with is one little badass Milwaukee M12 3 8 belt sander that we don't need to be running an air compressor just to do a little bit of sanding. Now this thing is going to come in clutch when it's time to work on the Honda Civic project car. There are small little things that I need to sand with it, but this could also be used for uh, small spot welds as well. Guys, so we took a super cheap I think this was like $20 or $25, 3 8 air belt sander. We took a $130 3 inch cutoff tool. Then we paid about 50 bucks for the conversion kit. And well, now we have one badass Milwaukee fuel with a 3 8 belt sander, all cordless. Now I will say that the belts are very cheap. They're already coming apart. So probably not the best belts that come with the air sander, but if you can find some better quality ones, 
Ah, man, this thing is gonna be awesome. Now we're gonna be using this on the Honda Civic. I do have some spots that I really need this tool for, for those really intricate spots where I need to sand. So this is why I wanted to make this conversion. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay spraying, stay wrenching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.